Hey YouTube, welcome back to another great video. And uh, this is Chris with RC Worst here today. We have the Pump Saver Plus. This is a product by Simcom uh, that's very comparable to Franklin Electric's Insider QD Pump Tech that goes inside these boxes. Um, this is a pretty nice unit. It's got a little bit more adjustability on it than the Franklin. Um, and it does have these little lights, a run light and a calibration light. Now, unfortunately, if you're using it on a QD style box, these lights are going to do absolutely nothing for you uh, because of the way that these boxes, you know, when you pull it off the wall, all the components of the box are disconnected and power is no longer going anywhere. Um, so these lights don't do a whole lot for you, but I think um, in, in our experience here at RC Worst, we have found that these units uh, tend to be more versatile uh, than the Pump Tech QD in use with uh, motors outside of the world of Franklin Electric. Uh, and we also use these quite regularly on Franklin Electric motors and they've proven to be a very reliable unit. Um, also very easy to install, so of course you would I would assume you would want to turn the breaker off uh, before doing this, but of course the, one of the benefits of the QD is you can just pull it off with the breaker on, um, but I tend to not like to do that. Um, so anyhow, so what you'll have to do is you've got this little di diagram on the QD boxes, L1, L2. So we're going to need to pull L1 actually clean out of there and grab the wire strippers here. So L1. We don't need that. L2, we're just going to unhook that guy and move it out of the way. That's where this little guy comes in. So he's going to go in here and you've got these uh, connectors that you want to make sure you line up so that this can be pushed down all the way. Make sure it's seated all the way to the back. And then you take your L2 wire, which is this yellow one here. And if you get lost, it's going to tell you yellow right here. And that pushes back in place right here. And then the L1 wire, or what replaced the L1 wire was that blue wire. They kind of give you a lot here because this, this unit's intended to be installed in a variety of different control boxes, whether it's uh, Grunfoss, Pentair, uh, Franklin Electric, and so on. So they give you a little extra wiggle room. In this particular box, we really don't need all of it, but it is what we got. So that just plugs right in there into your um, relay and then you're ready to go. So before turning this one on, this one, unlike the Franklin Electric, does recommend that you calibrate it um, upon installation. So the calibration process is quite simple. You take your screwdriver, and uh, this one's too big, but you would set this, you probably my thumbnail will work, you'd set this to calibrate, and if you notice, it's already on calibrate because it's a new unit fresh out of the box, and again, the factory wants you to calibrate it upon installation. So what you do now is now that everything's hooked up appropriately, you take this, put the face back on your control box, cycle the system. It's going to run for probably 10 seconds and then it's going to shut off. And then once the system comes back on, you're completely calibrated. Well, essentially once the system shuts off, you're calibrated after that 10 second period of running and turns off. And then what you would do is take the face back off of your unit, again, recommending you turn the breaker off before you do this, and uh, take and turn this to whatever your time setting is that you're, you're looking for. So you would, if you want an hour, you put it on an hour or 50 minutes. This one goes all the way up to 225 minutes. So then once calibrated, you move it to the amount of time that you want it to turn the system off to allow for recovery or, or whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. And then it, you also have the sensitivity adjustment. It does come set default to normal. And this one is pretty similar with the Franklin Electric on the uh, sensitivity adjustment. You would increase your sensitivity in a deeper well scenario where your motor is typically starting up um, under a little bit of a different load uh, than on a shallow well setting. So in a shallower well, you might use a lower um, sensitivity if you're finding that this particular unit's not tripping when it should, or you find that uh, your, your pump's still trying to run when you're out of water or some instance similar to that. Um, generally, the sensitivity doesn't need to be adjusted. 
Uh, it's usually on more extreme circumstances that we even get into sensitivity. If you run into any problems with this unit, uh, feel free to give us a call. We're very comfortable with them. We've worked with them a long time and we're happy to kind of help walk you through the steps of getting this thing fine-tuned to exactly what you're trying to accomplish. So that's all we've got for you on this particular pump, uh, pump protection unit. Uh, and I guess one last thing is since we haven't featured this particular unit in any previous videos, at least as far as I can remember, um, it is going to protect against dry well, over, under voltage, overload, um, in a variety of conditions that, that would cause damage to the motor. A great unit, highly reliable, highly recommend using a pump protection or motor protection device in your system uh, because one of these is easily a lot less expensive than paying for a whole new system if your pump or motor goes out. So keep that in mind and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe our videos for more great content. Always new videos every Tuesday and Friday. So uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.